Let's regrow bok choy from kitchen scraps. Ready? You want to choose the best bok choy from your groceries. Look for a plant with vibrant green leaves and firm stems. Then, use a clean, sharp knife or scissors to cut off the base of the bok choy. Aim for about one to two inches from the base. Next, fill a container with water and place the bok choy inside. You want to put it up to the bottom of the stem while the freshly cut area remains above the waterline. Then place the container in a location with indirect sunlight and wait for roots to develop. Mine are by my balcony doors. You'll want to change the water regularly. Ideally, we want to change it every day or every other day to keep it fresh and oxygenated. This helps prevent the growth of bacteria and keeps the cutting healthy. You should start seeing tiny shoots within a few days or about a week or so. Two weeks later. Now, don't judge me, but this is what happens if you don't change the water regularly. I was out of town for about a week or so and couldn't change the water for these two, but no worries. We can easily clean it up by removing the damaged parts. Just be careful not to damage the stem. So let's clean this up. Okay, now that everything is all cleaned up, comment below. Do you think this baby joy will make it? Yes or no? And of course we have the big one. The roots are still intact. And I'm gonna just put it back in a little bit of water. I'm gonna put the water just up to there so that the whole thing isn't soaking in water. So we only need a little bit, just enough to get the root sitting in the water and the same thing goes for this one i'm gonna just put a little bit of water after about a week or so you'll see some roots once they're about one to two inches long like this your bok choy is ready to be transplanted into soil so let's transplant it prepare a pot with proper drainage holes and pre-moisten your soil if you're not sure how to moisten your soil, check out this video right here. Timestamps are in the description of that video. Check it out and come right back. Here, I'm using regular potting mix, but you can use whatever growing medium you choose. You can skip the fertilizer step, but I'm adding a balanced triple eight fertilizer, which may be too high, so you can go lower because this is just what I had on hand. Be careful, don't add too much like I did. Now, fill the container to the top. Since the base of mine was freshly exposed, I'm planting it just below that so it can callus off or dry out and this will help prevent rotting and mold growth. Make a hole. Gently plant the cutting up to the base of the leaves. Now, water the newly transplanted cutting thoroughly and place it in a location with partial sunlight. Once the base of mine dried out, I added more soil to the bottom of the leaves. Then I bottom water to help keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged. As the plant grows, you can gradually increase the amount of sunlight it receives. In a few weeks or so, your bok choy plant will start to grow new leaves. You can harvest the outer leaves as needed, allowing for the inner leaves to continue growing for future harvests. Or like before, you can cut all the leaves off, 
about one to two inches from the base and it will regrow. One thing to look out for is bolting. Once the plant starts stretching, it's preparing to flower and go to seed. It's still edible, but it may be a little bitter. So at the first sign of bolting, it's best to just harvest the whole bok choy plant or like me, you can leave it to flower for the pollinators and to produce bok choy seeds. Now, by following these simple steps, you can successfully regrow your bok choy or pak choy from your kitchen scraps and enjoy continuous supply of fresh greens. Comment below if you found this helpful and drop a leafy greens emoji if you'll give it a try. If you want to try growing from seed, check out this video right here to get you started. I am so sorry for the loud background music in that video. It can be a little distracting but the information is really helpful, I promise. Later!